Okay, let's talk about grid array. This is a fun one to add some detail real fast. So I'm going to select that face, create a temporary construction plane by spacebar. So I can draw on there. I want to do just a little corner rectangle tab so I can keep it centered there. That's fine. We're going to bevel that just a little bit. Make it a little more circular on the ends. And the cool thing about your temporary construction planes, it will adjust the X and you'll adjust the axis so anytime it moves, it'll move along that construction plane. So I'm going to do rotate because you can notice how it's off angle there. So it's aligned to the construction plane. So I'm going to rotate it and we'll go just a little bit. Hold down control, say 20 degrees. Okay. G, I'm going to move it up over here by this little port or whatever it is. Right click. I'm going to create my object. B, new body. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and delete that curve. I don't need it anymore. Use Alt to select the ring so I can fill it the whole thing or chamfer or whatever it is. Negative will be chamfer. We'll just go ahead and do chamfer. And G, move it in. We're just getting this ready here. It's always best when you do arrays to uh, create the object that's going to cut in or add to. Do it all beforehand instead of having to manipulate all the curves afterwards. Okay, so now we got it pretty much where we want it and go down here and rectangular array and then we're just going to slide it along with the X click a point it defaults to 8 you can hold down shift and add instances or decrease it entirely up to you you can even do a repeat and it throws it like way out over here you can Add another one here, but we're just going to keep it to one. Okay. And then right click to confirm. We got it. We can turn off our construction plane now. Don't need it anymore. Let's select our object. So selecting the first one is the primary object. And then you select all these secondary ones, hit Q. And then those will all be differences and right click done. Quick, easy details using grid array.